Today we're making my Helter Skelter pattern beanie. For this project, you're going to need your yarn. And I'm going to be using King Cole Meadow Double Knitting together with Deramore's Studio Anti-Pilling DK in a lovely greeny colour. I hope the two go together nicely. The King Cole is 100 grams. Shade Elderflower 2960. So, off we go. We're going to start off with the usual under and over cast on. Leaving a roughly six inch tail in the centre of the machine. And using the centre tension gauge, we're going to knit three rows of just ordinary plain knitting. Watch the first few rows, make sure everything beds in nicely. And that's our three rows. Zero the counter, and now we're going to go into the pattern, which is a combination of wrapping and stitching. So we need to remove the yarn, and we're going to do this manually, okay? So starting from needle one and needle two, with the second of the two needles higher than this one, so this one higher, we're going to wrap two, knit two, wrap two, and knit one. And that's the combination all the way around the machine for 35 rows. It takes seven rotations of the machine to get back to where you started because it's a seven stitch combination on a 48 machine. So now we start again with wrap two, Knit two, wrap two, knit one, and on and on and on for 35 rows like this. I'll carry on for the first row and then I'll fast forward through the rest of it, okay? So knit two, sorry, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit one, wrap two. Knit two, wrap two, knit one. Wrap two, knit two, wrap two, and knit one. Wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit one. Wrap two, knit two and we're back to where we started and again now we go around and round and round wrap two knit two wrap two knit one so we do that as a combination of seven in a block and um, I find ending on a knit will all a knit one rather at the end of that will always remind me where I am if I need to walk away from the project so that's row one so we're going to do another 34 rows like this now and then I'll come back So we're on a wrap two, oops, knit two, wrap two, knit one, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit one.
35, 35 rows. So what we're going to do now is cut off the usual tail, throw that into the middle of the machine, swap over then to our uh, Dermal Studio DK, just a contrasting colour for the brim on the inside really. Okay, so we feed that in and into the centre tension again, zero hour clock and holding the tails together, so we crack around, so now we're going to do 60 rows in the plain colour which will end up hopefully being the brim on the inside of the beanie. So the clock is at zero so we're heading now for 60 rows. I'll do a few rows and I'll come back then closer to the end. It will clunk a little bit at first and then it should settle down and just go around nicely. I'll see you when I get closer to 60 rows. Just uh, stop briefly to show you to remember to tie your connecting ends together. And we'll double check that then when we're uh, putting the beanie together. So I'll see you when uh, we get closer to 60 rows. Okay, so I've stopped at 30 rows just to show you that the work is starting to bunch up now in the middle. So we just gather it up. And that'll hold the stitches in place as well. So we'll just carry on now. Okay, so we're on row 56 coming up to row 57. Another few rows to go. Just finishing off this row now. So cut... Um, Longish tail for cast off as usual. Yarn out of the yarn feeder. Perfect. Yarn needle. Usual cast off routine now. Crank and grab stitches all the way around. So here we go. Casting off. the last one and we're off there we are there's our project we'll shake it out now and find out what we've got and assemble the beanie together okay so here we are with our uh, hat ready to put it together in all disclosure I did have a, a stitch that I for some reason completely missed when I was uh, casting off but I caught that that's fine I've uh, manually put it in with a crochet hook and I'll catch that now when I go around and pull that end together. So it does happen. Okay, so this is the pattern. We need to stretch it out. Let's move that out of the way. Gently stretch the project out. And it is looking quite lacy there. It's quite nice. So, as we usually do when we're putting a hat together, it's a case of bunching up the both ends, feeding one inside the other. Oops, let's try this way around. And I'm hoping that the 
corresponding colour I've used for the bottom is going to shine through a little. That's my um, that's my hope anyway. So let's go through and grab this. Pull this through. I'm just going to do this quickly now because I'm sure all of you that have done these beanies are quite experienced at putting them together. So let's just pull it together. Okay, so I found my little stitch marker there for the one that I dropped. And I've gathered the, the top together there. So when I put the couple of stitches now in the top, if I can get my needle through that, just to secure it, then I'll catch that rogue naughty stitch. And sew it in. These things happen, usually to me. So, a couple of little stitches for now, just to give you the idea. So now we'll do, if you can find the tail of our patterned end, and we'll draw that in. Tie these two together, secure the inside to the outside, a few little knots and then with the remaining yarn stitch the two together better than I will right now but I'll just um, I'll just thread the yarn now into the inside of the beanie stretch it a little bit more so normally you would stitch through the two layers and secure it um, properly there we go. so we'll ignore that for a minute and stretch out our beanie now this is quite a thin yarn it's only a dk that that was very nice that was a thicker um aran yarn that was that was quite nice but I've run out of that, so um, I thought I'd try something different. So we stretch out our beanie. That's looking very nice there. You can see the pattern there, the helter skelter pattern, going from right to left, like this one. That's um, the same pattern, right to left. This one again is a heavier yarn. That's the Aldi So Crafty yarn, ombre, I believe, seashore. That was that one, half, half a big ball half a cake rather so you can see the pattern coming through on each of these and that's our beanie and you could fold it up if you wanted a contrasting color on the edge you could have chosen any of these colors the rusty color or the yellow even or even a black um, I quite like it down like that that's quite nice got the option of putting a pom-pom on the top and then we can use our waist yarn in here to secure the pom-pom on the top but just for ease of showing you now there's our beanie okay and to finish our project off we're going to sew a hand made in wales button onto the brim part because i am welsh and very proud to be so so do we put it there or do we fold it up and put it on let's have a look chances are we're going to do it with a folded up brim i think so handmade in wales I'm using the contrasting yarn here so we have a little bit of little splash of colour on the back. There we go. And all I'll do is I will just tie it on. And I'll trim the yarn later. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. If you'd like to subscribe and follow my channel, that would be fantastic. Lots more videos to come and check out my tea cosy video and also the video for the pineapple twist beanie, which is also a, a nice patterned beanie that you could make on a Cento 48 or any other 48 needle knitting machine. <laughs>